Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. They just released the full version of this game, Kerbal Space Program 1.0. It's no longer in early access, so I thought I would give it a go again. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I have no idea what I'm going to do for this video. I just started it up because usually I sit down, I don't have ideas, I don't know what to do, and I don't do anything. So I'm in the game now, so obviously we got to do something. It turns out they added uh, new aerodynamics, they added heating stuff, they added fairings, because I use procedural procedural fairings mod that allows you to you know add fairings to whatever and uh, now it's in the game apparently and also there's resource mining so you can like go to asteroids and resource mine mine some resources I don't really know how that works no idea I'm definitely not gonna be able to do it today but I think that's probably a good idea for a future video try and get on an asteroid and mine any ideas you guys have leave them down below I think I'm just gonna check out some uh, planes and things today like I said, there's new uh, aerodynamics, so maybe the planes will be different. I don't know. This is obviously a really basic plane, okay? I've made them before. I think this one is probably better than anything I could make just because somebody else made it. Um, yeah, you m might not want to be in here. You might want to be in the other place over there. Okay, so we are in the space plane hangar, which means that we can put space planes on runways rather than put them on the launch area thingy. Uh, yeah, I just want to say one thing, guys. Something that I would really like to do is stream this game. I want to start up a Kerbal Space Program career mode and do some streaming of this. I don't think it'd be great for a video, uh, for like a series. I think it'd be better to do it in a stream and then mess around and make all kinds of ridiculous things in a series. Because there's so many different mods for this game. Like, so many different mods. So, um, you know, they're slowly being updated to 1.0 and uh, I definitely want to give them all a try. So, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to stream it. What do you guys think? Follow me on Twitch if you're not already so that we can actually, you know, play the game and stream and you guys can watch and all that fun stuff. And you can give me all kinds of ideas and we can we can find out how to do stuff together. Okay, I don't know if this is any better than it was before. It kind of feels like it's a little bit better. Like, whoa. Whoa. Do you see that? Do you see this? What's going on here? Everything's getting all shaky and stuff. Okay, I think that's new. I think that's new. I don't know, yeah, I kind of feel like the plane is a bit more like, it acts, actually acts like a real plane. And then when you do really big turns, everything wobbles. Turbulence, baby! That is what I'm talking about. I don't know if there was, like, thingies coming off the plane before. I don't really recall there being a bunch of, uh, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of, like, air. You can see the air resistance. I don't remember that being there before, but I honestly have no idea. Let's just bring this thing down to the ground in the most dangerous way possible. Because that's a cool idea. And now slow it down. There you go. Now we're just gliding. I'm not going to land on that runway. I'm not going to do that. Or am I? Or am I? Probably going to end up going off the end, but we're going to be close. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. See how uh, li alive we are? See see how alive we are right now? Um, that we just, uh, sh shit. Okay, we reverted to the space plane hangar. Nobody died, okay? It's this new thing they have in the game called time travel. Actually, it's always been there, and we're going to pretend that nothing bad ever happened. Okay. I don't know if any of these vehicles are actually new, but this is a VTOL. VTOL, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, it's a vertical takeoff and landing. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Can I just, like, can I just go? Okay, guys, I have a feeling this really isn't meant for Earth. I'm not really sure about that one, but it's not exactly doing a great job of vertically taking off and landing. If I bounce it off the ground, it gets a little bit of height. Wow. Ah, oh, look at that. Now that. That is how you do it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just stage it. There you go. That's all we needed. We just needed to take some stuff off. Now, what's the next step here? Just to fly around? Is this it? I'm going to press another button. Okay, that definitely wasn't a good button to press. Now we're just flying around. It's a good thing we got ourselves a parachute. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, it is a vertical takeoff and landing. Whoa. Those are some nice explosions. I'm not sure if they were that nice before. Mmm, those are some nice explosions. And look at that, guys. Bill Kerman actually survived this time. Congratulations, Bill. I'm really proud of you, even though I did all the work. All right, guys, this is the Steerwing A300. It is a jumbo jet, and it looks freaking fantastic. I saw Robaz do a video on this, and he, uh... He made, like, a rocket inside of the jumbo jet. I don't know if these things open up or not. Let me see. Open. Yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. So he put a rocket inside of here, and he fired the rocket out and sent it to space. And uh, it was pretty damn cool. I don't know if you could do that or not. I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Probably not, because I'm not very good in this game. But uh, there's definitely room in there to do it. 
Okay. Oh, oh, that one opens from the bottom. Well, that's kind of cool. I guess you could flip it upside down. Anyway, um, let's close all those up again, okay? Don't want to let the air in while we're driving. And then we're going to try and make this thing take off. Maybe, maybe going to work. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. There's three dudes in here. Why do you got to put the lives of three dudes in danger? Guys, Bill, Bob, 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 and, um, where's the button to let you out? Crap, I don't even know. Ah, there we go. Nope. There. Okay. EVA. I hit the IVA button. You can get out. Okay. Hop off. Just let go. Don't get ran over by a wheel, because that would not be good. Ooh. Is it looking good for this guy? I'm going to turn it a little bit. No, I'm using him. I was going to turn the plane. Okay. You're fine. Okay. You're good. Now we'll take the next person out, so that nothing happens to them either. How do I how do I get back in the plane? Plane, come back! Stop rolling down the runway, man! I need you! So it turns out it was way too hard for me to actually take two people out so that only Bill could go on this dangerous adventure. So we're all going now. I hope you guys are happy and um, prepare to die or whatever. <laughs> this thing is so cool though, man. Like, look at all the parts on that. Mmm. It's beautiful. I, I want to go riding this myself. Oh, look! Look how easily this thing takes off. See, that's what I'm talking about. I am not good at making things take off in this game. But this thing is like, you know, I'm going to do my own thing here. I'm just going to go up in the air. And uh, I'm going to let it go and see what happens. I think we're probably going to die. Don't worry, guys. This is uh, the new autopilot system for the uh, the airplanes. And um, it's automatically piloting you into the sky. And it's doing uh, a little bit of a, a loop-de-loop. -loop, okay? It's the latest in uh, space technology. It's uh, you know, it's it's gonna be fine. Okay, nobody is gonna get hurt. Look at this. Look at how happy Valentina is. Okay, uh, switch to a different person. Valentina. No, no, Val, Val, Valentina. I can't see you, Valentina. Forget it. Forget. It. I gotta get back out. Get that. Get out button. There you go. Okay, so it's gonna do a loop, and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna flip back around again, so you guys are not gonna die. Trust me. I am uh, a space engineer. I know this stuff. Okay. Oh god, it's not looking good for you guys. It's not looking good! Oh. Okay. There's parts over here. Any of these parts have any kerbals? Nope. Nope. They're all dead. It says outcome is catastrophic failure. I, I would probably have to agree with that. Pretty catastrophic in my opinion. Let's go! See? See these guys? See how alive they are right now? They, they were never dead to begin with, okay? Or they were dead the whole time. I don't know. I don't want to turn this into some kind of sixth sense situation, okay? I don't want too many plot twists going on here. It's just supposed to be a video, you know? I'm not supposed to make anyone question their lives or anything. Okay, okay, I'm not good at turning airplanes, and this thing is freaking heavy. So we just need to take our time. We're going to go to this place over here, and we're going to land it. I've been over here before, guys, and I've said, like, we're going to land over here, and I've never done it. Uh, I might have done it. One time I landed on the, uh, on the hill. But this time, I'm going to be extra careful. Because usually when I play this game, I just... Well, what is that down there? Usually I screw around, but now you know, I'm going to do non screwy around stuff. Yeah, there's like a drop-off down there. Can you get like a Kerbal Space Submarine? I want a Kerbal Space Submarine. Or a Kerbal Submarine program. I don't know. I'm sure there's mods for that. If there isn't, there will be. If there's something you can think of, guys, that doesn't have a mod, there will be. There'll be a mod for it. I just can't wait for baby eating in Kerbal Space Program. It's going to be great. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We're now uh, beginning our descent. We're going down below uh, 3,000 meters right now. Uh, we're expected to land in about two minutes on the runway. We may or may not crash, but uh, do not be alarmed because uh, yeah, everything is going to be okay. Okay, it's just going to be okay. Just trust me. And yeah, everybody's going to die. But don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. You got to keep them. You got to keep the passengers. You got to keep the passengers. Non, non scared. What is going on with that runway? That is a stupid looking runway. I don't remember it being so crap. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a circle around. It may take a while. Okay, I'm not the best pilot. I mean, I'm the best pilot. Uh, so, so just, 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 just hold on. Valentina, you are a freaking trooper, and I love you more than anything. Look at her down there. Is it, is it her? He looks like a her. She's got more hair than the rest of the dudes. Everybody else is like bawling and stuff. Valentina, you're great. You're, you're, you're always keeping your spirit high, and I appreciate it, okay? We need more people like you in the space program. I think I need to just go out further. Can I, can I put on, like, an autopilot here? If I could just get myself going at a speed that doesn't kill me, that would be nice. This one just about does it. No, nope, turn down a little bit. We gotta turn it down to a speed where we're not actually, uh, increasing, okay? We wanna keep everything, keep everything nice and steady, okay? I'm not a real pilot. I said it, okay? The secret is out. 
This is your captain speaking. I think we're actually not going to die today. Look at this. Oh, man. Lift it up a bit more. Lift it up. Lift it up. Oh, oh, do you see that? Okay. Break it, baby. Break it. Break it like you own it. Mm -hmm. I am breaking. We're going. We're at uh, 45. 40 meters per second. Let's just turn in here. We can just go right into the, uh, the thingy. This is a bad idea. I repeat, this is a bad idea. Okay. We should be able to do this. Stop it. Stop it. 20 meters per second. Oh, man, guys. We did this. I, I specifically remember this place. You guys can back me up on this. I specifically remember this place having, like, road. Okay? Remember there being an actual um, landing strip here. And now there's not. Now you ain't got nothing. Okay. So, it's going to be way too hard for me to get that into that hangar over there. So, we're just going to leave it here. You guys can go do what you want. Okay? Welcome to Walt Disney World. Okay? There's nothing much here. But, yeah. Go have fun. No joke, though, guys. I actually did leave them over here. See? Steerwing A300. We're not dealing with them. We got other stuff to deal with. There's one other plane here. It looks kind of cool. I don't know if it is cool or not. But uh, it is a Steerwing D45. Okay. What? Where'd it go? It's up here somewhere. Okay. So it's not so bad. It's got it's got uh, lots of lots of thingies under it. <laughs> what are those anyway? I think those are like filled with fuel, right? Okay. The vessel has no remote controlled or man command modules. It won't be controllable. Why the hell would you give me something that's not controllable? Can I put someone in here? Come on, this is a cockpit, right? Oh, you. Oh, you. Always doing stuff like this to piss me off. Crew. Crew. Let's add a crew member. Yes, M MK2 cockpit and a crew cabin. Jeez. Um, go to astronaut complex. That's the problem. We don't got no astronauts. Let's get the stupidest ones. Tomfred. And Deskin. And Kerman. Not Kerman, his name is Jokus. Even better, Jokus. Can you imagine if you named your kid Jokus? And once again, I'm going to have someone in my comment section. His name is Jokus, and he's going to get really offended by this. But I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a cool name. Okay, it's a cool name. So can we just, like, can we just fly this thing? Can we go over there and uh, meet up with our Aeris 3A? Because I'm cool with that, like, if we want to do that. Um, seems to be a pretty fast plane anyway. Look at that. Can you get off the runway on your own? Or are you not as cool as a jumbo jet? Yes, you are. Oh, let's see if this one can do a nice little loop-de-loop. Uh, -loop. Don't worry, guys. I got it under control. Okay. Do a nice little flippy and come back down again. Oh, uh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. That's that's real nice. Um. Oh, so close. So close. Ugh. Landed right on the runway again. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Mmm. Mmm. You know there's, like, uh, there's rockets mods in this game, like, for weapons. You can make mechs. You can make so many insane things, and I think a lot of you guys who enjoy my Besiege series will enjoy this game a lot. Okay, okay, we need some control over this thing. This thing is not controlling. This thing is really wobbly. Why you gotta be so wobbly? But anyway, yeah, I think I think people who like uh, my Besiege series are really gonna enjoy Kerbal Space Program, because it's all about building really dumb things and then say, saying sarcastic things about them, because that's what I do in life, okay? Okay, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this, Jokus. I wanted you to be, like, extra excited about it. But maybe it's because you're in a crew cabin all alone. Maybe that scares you, buddy. Yeah, why do you got, why you got a stick down there? What is that about? Oh, what's happening outside? What's happening outside? Nothing. Everything is completely fine. We're going pretty fast as well. 420-something meters per second? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, look at all that air passing over us. That's beautiful, man. Look like a goddamn Dragon Ball Z character here. Going Super Saiyan or something. Keep it under control. Keep it under control. Everything is under control, guys. Stay in your seats. Don't move. Don't say a word. Don't move. Don't speak. Even whisper. Okay, we're gonna. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Boom. Perfect landing. You see this, guys? Do you see how alive you are right now? Oh crap. Jokus died, and so did you guys. Okay. Back to this plane. Everything is fine. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Let Let's go. We're We're out of here. Oh, and Bob and Valentina. For some reason, they were off the screen. Um, I don't actually have a plan for you guys. You don't have enough fuel to get home. I don't think so. Um. The plane is driving itself now. Hope it works out for you. Maybe just, you know, speed it up a little bit here. There you go. Let's just time warp you a bunch and see. Oh, okay, that's what happens when you time warp you a bunch. Great. Um, and Valentina is so excited about the whole situation. I love you. Oh, man. I got to recruit more people like Valentina. Just, just wonderful. And there you go, guys. That's what happens if you time warp a jumbo jet, okay? Because I know you're all wondering. I know y'all came into the video saying, man, I wonder what happens if you time warp a jumbo jet. You think you could do that for me? Well, you're welcome. You are freaking welcome. Okay, let's just see if there's anything cool in here, guys. I, I'm going to go and see if there's any cool uh, pre-built stuff in here, okay? Um, Auto-save ships, they ain't no good for me. This is some cool stuff. Like, what is that? A rover and a sky crane. That sounds kind of cool. 
Okay, these are the kind of things you could use to land. What's a Z-Map satellite launch? I don't know what a Z-Map satellite launch is. So it's a satellite, and it maps Zs, obviously. I shouldn't even shouldn't even question that. Oh look, guys, we got Jebediah Kerman back. He was just hanging out on the uh, on the launch pad, and we cleared the debris. I mean, he's just debris now, obviously. Okay, piece of crap. So, if I'm not mistaken, first you hit T, then you do this, then you fly away. Oh, and then you gotta break that thing off. That helps too. So, um, going up in the air, all is well. Eventually, I'm gonna have to drop the next stage. I think uh, very soon. And that's the solid fuel on the sides, right? Those are solid fuel boosters, if I'm not mistaken. So that goes up. We drop them off. Then, uh, nope, not yet. Not yet. Stay here. Stay here. Okay, this is good enough, right? So we should just be able to point out here and have a look and see how high we're going up. Can't you just, like, speed up? No, I don't want to speed up time. I don't even know if you can when you're doing this. But uh, probably best to wait. Okay, see what happens here. 40. We're going to go up to 100. Okay? 100 is a sweet spot. So I'm just going to ask you guys now, considering I said I would like to mine a uh, an asteroid, I want to ask you guys, what do you think? Do you want me to mine an asteroid first? Do you want me to try and make a moon base? Do you want me to try and add to the uh, the space station, create a new one, yada, yada, yada? I really want to know what you guys want for the series because, I mean, there's so many things I can do. I don't really want to mess around with mods just yet, okay? I'd rather, I'd rather do the things you can do in this game, and there's the music. There's the beautiful music to just lift our spirits. But yeah, I think I think I'd like to mess around with the uh, with the actual game first, and then add some mods later. I mean, I have added like one or two mods, but uh, nothing crazy. All right, guys, so we got ourselves a beautiful little orbit. I think it's um, 101 by 98. Yeah, that's that's pretty damn good. Now all we gotta do is just get rid of this. There you go. You could you can go to hell uh, very slowly. Apparently, eventually it'll leave. Watch this. Woo! Goodbye, you little bastard. It's all with the cube now. And I think we can just, um, oh, what did I do? This thing has liquid fuel. Cool. Okay, we don't need that. We got to open all our, pan no, no, these aren't panels. Can't open these things off. This is it. This is the device. I don't know what it's for. Okay. It's just a little thing with some uh, solar panels on it. And that is like, that's it. Okay. Cool with me. That's what we'll have. And that's what we'll, we'll just go around curbing for a while. Alright guys, well I'm going to end this video here. As I said, this is kind of an introduction to the full version of this game. If you have certain ideas, things you'd like me to do, do you want to see me stream this game, you know, yada yada yada, go ahead and leave them down below. I always love reading your suggestions and your comments and things like that. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.